Hi everyone and welcome to lab number three. In lab number two, uh, we focus on uh, a soil um, classification system that was based on particle size and distribution. And that was fine uh, to classify uh, sand and gravel. But in order to classify um, clays and seals, um, that's insufficient. So we need to classify clays and seals based on their plasticity. Uh, plasticity uh, refers to uh, the range of water content uh, at which a soil behaves plastically. Uh, we have uh, two different limits, uh, plastic limit and liquid limit. So plastic limit um, is defined as uh, the water content at which a soil uh, makes the transition uh, from uh, a dry powder to a plastic soil. And the liquid limit um, is also a water content at which a soil makes the transition from a plastic soil to a liquid-like mud. Um, the difference between the two limits uh, is called a plasticity index. Uh, plastic limit and liquid limit are uh, also called uh, Atterberg limits and um, all together with uh, the plasticity index are all means of uh, classifying a fine uh, grain soil. Uh, in this lab, we will focus on uh, two different experiments, one about uh, the liquid limit and the other one uh, about the plastic limit. The first experiment is about the liquid limit. So, um, first of all, I'll read uh, the definition of liquid limit, that it's uh, the water content at which a standard groove in a path of soil in a brass cap that you see here uh, cut with a standard grooving tool, that is this one, uh, and dropped from a height of one centimeter will undergo continuous uh, closure along a length of half an inch when dropped 25 times um, at a standard rate of two drops uh, per second. Uh, this device will drop the brass cap um, at this specific rate, um, first of all, uh, we need um, like a soil um, that needs to be a uniform past because we added water and uh, this needs to have like a creamy appearance, okay? Uh, then uh, we will wait uh, six empty water content tons because we need to repeat our procedure uh, six times uh, and have six different samples. Our objective is like to find the liquid limit, that it's a water content, uh, of a certain soil, okay? Um, what we are going to do is, at the beginning, we want to stay on the dry side of the liquid limit because then we want to add water and get different uh, results. So, at the beginning, we smear um, a soil, this, this like uniform past uh, into the brass cap and um, so basically we need to pay attention and to distribute this, this soil um, evenly uh, and needs to be uniform and um, basically now I already did that for, for you um, so with this grooving tool I'm gonna cut a clean and straight line um, through the center of the brass cap. So I'll do that now. So once we have the groove, we will activate this device. So we will set here uh, zero. And then this device will drop the cap uh, many times. And what we uh, need to do is observe when the closure of half an inch forms and record the number uh, that we read here. So I will activate this so you can see how it works. So I stop the machine at 40 uh, because of the closure uh, happens there. And uh, um, now uh, it's important that our um, number of drops is uh, a number between 15 and, and 50. So if uh, our number is below 15, it means that um, the soil is too wet. Um, if the number is over uh, 50, that means that uh, it's too dry. So, um, if it's too wet, we add soil, if it's too dry, uh, we add water. 
so uh, if uh, we get a number between 15 and 50, uh, we can put the soil sample into the um, empty water content can uh, and we collect six samples because we uh, will repeat this procedure uh, six times. Once we have uh, all the uh, cans that are uh, filled with soil, uh, we can weigh them and then we will put in the oven. Um, then we will wait again and we will be able to get the water content of each sample. Uh, this water content will be related to the number of drops that we read here. So we will be able to plot um, number of drops on the y-axis and, and water content on the x-axis uh, we will get six points and we will fit the best line we can uh, fit there and we will get uh, the water content at exactly 25 um, blows and then that one is the liquid limit. The second experiment is about the plastic limit. So the plastic limit is uh, the water content at which a thread of soil crumbles when it is rolled down um, to a diameter of 3 millimeters on a glass plate. So the glass plate is this one. First of all, uh, we need to weight uh, 10 uh, water content empty cans uh, because we want to collect uh, 10 samples. So, um, we also add to our dry soil some water um, until we reach like uh, a, and we have a soil sample that it's uh, uniformly damp. So we take one cent cu cubic centimeter of this um, sample and we try to roll it between palm and the glass. I will show you um, now. So basically like So, we try to roll it down, so basically, if it crumbles when it's greater than 3 millimeters, uh, we need to add more water. If it crumbles uh, when less than 3 millimeters, we need to add uh, some soil. Um, we roll it down, uh, actually, uh, we try to roll it down at 90 cycles per minute, that means 1.5 per second. So. Then it crumbled and it's more or less three millimeters. So this soil sample, uh, it's fine. So, and we collect it in a water can. And then we go and we repeat this procedure 10 times. Then when we have uh, all our sample, we weight the sample, uh, we will put them in the oven and then we will weight it them again. Um, we will get um, 10 different water contents. Uh, we will average these water contents and then we will get actually the plastic limit. Uh, if we uh, take the difference between the liquid limit and the plastic limit, we will get also the plasticity index. Uh, 